When I received the appointment as a political appointee to go to be ambassador to Austria, and by the way, about 25% of the ambassadors from the United States are political appointees rather than coming up through the career diplomatic service at the State Department. When I received this appointment, I was really worried. I said, you know what, from Colorado, I know work on mental health reform. I know how to work in housing projects. I know about public education. I had chaired and created, in fact, the Governor's Coordinating Council on Housing and Homelessness. That's what I know. I don't know foreign policy. I was really nervous. And then my husband, Charles Ansbacher, said, oh, come on, you're a quick study. You can figure this out. Uh, just get over there and do what you know how to do. And, and the key person for me also was Pat Schroeder, who was our congresswoman, and she pushed and pushed and pushed for me to do this. I went there. There was this horrific war, and we had tens and tens of thousands of refugees streaming across the border between Yugoslavia, which was breaking apart, and Austria. And what I discovered, what is a refugee? A refugee is a person who's homeless. A refugee is a person who's been traumatized. So it's mental health kinds of issues. A refugee is a person whose schools have been destroyed. How are they going to educate their children? I mean, the basic issues I had worked on with Federico Peña as mayor, with Wellington, we uh, Wellington Webb as mayor, with Roy Romer as governor, these were many of the same issues. And then what I found is that my lessons from the Women's Foundation of Colorado, which had been to look for the women as a source of strength, not just as the victims to be taken care of. That became the key to the lens of how I looked at the war in Yugoslavia as it was falling apart, and in fact looked all across Eastern Europe 